10 uncommon mid journey styles that you should absolutely try. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So as you know, mid journey is amazing and creating images, but over time they can all look kind of the same. So today I'm going to show you images and styles you probably haven't seen much before. So we start off with this beautiful illustration here of a mushroom. This is in a classic style as you would have nature illustration before photography was invented. Usually this was drawn and then colorized with watercolor afterwards. So very nice style, very detailed. And when we look at the prompt of the image, you can see that this is actually using a multi prompt. Very interesting. When you want to use a prompt for your own experimentation, you want to click here on the three prompts, then on copy and copy full command. This is important because this then includes everything that was in the prompt. Let's go to my text editor and have a look. So we can see here it's single fly agaric mushroom colon colon then draw it on a white canvas. So it's not completely spelled correctly but as you can see it still works. Colon colon botanical art colon colon. So the double colon here, this is where the multi prompt is created. And the purpose of this is that in the prompt, different elements are separated from each other so that they don't influence each other, that they don't flow into each other. So we have the mushroom, this is separated from the white background and this is separated from the botanical art style. Now botanical art, as I said, was the art style before cameras have been invented to draw out all of these beautiful details from observation and it was a really very nice art form. So if you want to check out more of that, Google botanical art. Then we have here the ratio. We have a number here, which I assume is the seed, but there is no command in here to use a seed, interestingly enough. Then this is version four and then also S100. S is for stylize. When we look here at the definition of stylize, you can see that the mid journey bot has been trained on artistic color composition and forms and stylize can give this less or more of this artistic style. So it sticks more to the prompt, but is at the same time less artistic. So you can see down here different examples where this is less style and then the more style it gets, you can see the more detailed and beautiful these images get. And when you have less style, you can see they look a little bit more flat and a little bit more 2D. So because we have here 2D illustration, stylize 100 actually makes a lot of sense. And when we look down here at the parent images, you can actually see that this has created four really beautiful variations. So go ahead and experiment with this prompt. Let's go to the next work here. This is a beautiful lion in the summer surrounded by butterflies in the style of a children's book. Again, let's check out the prompt here. In this case, everything is together in one prompt. We have a cute yellow line playing with the butterflies in a green field, flowers of all colors, illustration by Rebecca Shuka, Ate Gahilan and Mary Blair. So we have three different artist names here, artistic styles blended together. You can see that this is pointing out it's going to be an illustration. And you can also see that this is a very simple prompt that is only putting into here what we want to see. So we want to have a lion with butterflies in a green field and then flowers of all colors. Also at the end, of course, we have our ratio. Now in this case, the V4 command is missing. But the reason for that is because now in mid journey version four is actually the standard before it was version three and you always had to point out version four. Let's go to our next example here where we have a Star Wars inspired image, but in a different style than you would expect. So let's check out the prompt again, a rather simple prompt. And with this, you can see how much AI image generation is making a progress where you don't have to use a ton of different stylized words in the prompts. You just have to describe the style and the content you want to have. So in this case, Star Wars Leia and R2 without the D2 in this case, but it kind of still understood what's going on in the style of Studio Ghibli, anime, retro, 
colorful, cute Star Wars. This is using App Beta. This is an old upscaling algorithm for Mid Journey, but what it does is it doesn't change the details in the image and often gives it a little bit more flat and painterly style, which is actually a good idea for this kind of image. So you can see again, the result is pretty beautiful. The next image now is different than the illustrations we have seen before. This is more of an abstract pattern. Now this can be very useful, not just for playing around and learning how to use image AIs, but these backgrounds actually are very good and useful for stock pages because a lot of people use these backgrounds for their advertisements, for their posts, for their newsletters. So this could be actually an interesting opportunity to make a little bit of cash. Let's check out the prompt here. In this case, is it says tilt shift. This is something I have seen often in prompts lately. So you want to try that out. Then it says seamless hexagonal pattern background gradient. The interesting thing here is although this is this abstract background, it is not using the tile command so that when you look here at the borders of the image, this is actually not seamless. So you might want to try minus minus tile to get a background that is seamlessly tiling and that is even more useful for the stock pages. Now, when we look again in our prompt, you can see, of course, it says here hexagonal for these shapes, for the pattern, that's pretty important, but it also says gradient here. And the gradient means a blending between two different colors. So you can see that all of these hexagons here are blending between different colors. For example, here between green and yellow, up here between violet and orange, and so on. Next, we have something that is again more of an illustration. It's a classic style, but it's really beautiful. And it has a nice composition here with day and night or light and darkness. Again, let's check out the prompt. We have here a psychedelic patterns featuring the sun and the moon. So this is a very reduced prompt. And the interesting thing here, and this I have seen often lately on Mid Journey, is when you bring two things together that are opposites, especially when you say end. So for example, you say hero and villain, good or bad, sun and moon. This will create an image that is split in the middle and will put these opposites against each other, which can lead to very interesting images. Next, we have a design here that actually reminds a little bit of the yin yang symbol, but it is different. It also has a little bit of this moon element here. So very interesting design. And again, a mix of illustration and painting. Now, in this case, when we look at the prompt, we can again see that we have a multi prompt in here. So let's check this out in more detail. An illustration in doodle style, colon, colon, two, comma. And then we have t-shirt design, circular design, circular border, white view, plus color pen and ink, illustration, ultra high details, vibrant colors, natural lighting, version four, S for stylized 750, Q for quality two. So in this case, we have a lot of words in here to define the style. But what I also find very interesting in this specific prompt is at the beginning, we have an illustration in the doodle style. And then afterwards, this is defining, we wanna have a t-shirt design and a circular design with a circular border around it. So this gives a lot of hints here, not just for the use, but also for the way this should be designed. And you can absolutely imagine seeing this on a t-shirt. So I really enjoy that people start to think more about where and how can I actually use these designs and how can Mid Journey actually create designs for that specific purpose. And I think Mid Journey in this case has done a wonderful job. Next, we have this wonderful watercolor illustration of a portrait in a classic style. Absolutely love it. When we look at the prompt, we again find some very interesting details here. So this is a fusion between bionic and environmental art, character design, intricate detail in the style of Anna Dittmann, watercolor. This is using Nietzsche. So minus minus Nietzsche. This is the new model that you can use on Mid Journey. It's trained more for anime and illustration and works very well in this case. Ratio two by three and then chaos 50. 
Now when we look here at the definition of chaos, you can see that this influences the variety between the individual images in the grid. So lower chaos makes the images in the grid more similar and higher chaos makes the images more different. So for example, when you look here, you have these owls that are melon inspired, but they look kind of similar. And then in this case, you can see that clearly a lot of different things are going on not just from the composition, but also from the background, from the colors and from the way this is artistically created. So if you want to have a high rate of experimentation in mid journey and are not sure about the specific style you want to have, the chaos value can actually help you with that. And when we look here at the parent image, you can see that the styles and the composition are actually very different between these four images. Next, we have another artistic abstract background, this time more in the style of a painting, which mixes paint colors with gold. As you can see at the beginning here, this prompt actually uses an image as a source and the image is looking like this. So nothing like the end result, but still a good inspiration for mid journey. So this is a very good trick to overcome the classic styles of mid journey and create something that is more directed by your input to give you your own creation and your own expression. The rest of the print is again fairly simple. This is abstract color plate of gold, turquoise and gray paint on canvas textured ratio two by three. So the main interesting part here is using an abstract image that is kind of similar from the style, but then you fill in the style and the colors you want to have to get a different output. But that is more guided because of the input from the image. Here we have another beautiful illustration style that is very colorful and has a little bit of this botanical art style we have seen in the beginning. The prompt here is repeating pattern of one hundreds of California's native plant, highly detailed illustrations, alternating neon blossom mosaic style, MC Asher like highly stylized alternating chaos 51. Now it's interesting to point out here that this is asking for a repeating pattern, not a seamless pattern or a tiled pattern. And we look at the image, you can actually see that the shapes here are repeating around the center and also have a very nice symmetry in here. It's also interesting here that this is asking for a mosaic style. MC Asher is actually known for different kind of artistic styles and more black and white images. But I can maybe kind of see a little bit how his style is involved here in the way that these different shapes flow into each other. Now the last image I want to show you for this video is actually more inspired by modern art. So this is more in the sense of, of surreal art, of cubist art, of Dada art style. And what I absolutely enjoy about this image is of course that this kind of art asks more questions about what is the limit of an image? What is the limit of representation? Where can art go? What can art be? And this is a very crucial and important question is specifically for AI art and the involvement of AI in art creation. So experimenting more with these abstract and strange styles is actually an important way to figure out where can AI actually lead us. Let's have a look at the prompt for this image. So here we have 10 images combined into one 2D, 2D, surrealism, abstract, deconstructing, represent. Then we have colon colon. So this is a multi prompt art by. And then we have these double colons after every artistic name giving different weights to the artists. So we have here Chagall 1, Dali 1, Magritte 1, Picasso 1, Carlo 0 0.5, Miro 0 0.5, Oppenheim, actually Oppenheimer 0 0.5, maximum details, tone mapping, ratio 2 by 3, no watermarks, then minus minus no for negative prompt. First time we see negative prompt in all of these prompts for watermark, logo, trademark, minus minus S for stylized 750, minus minus up beta, minus minus Q2 for quality 2. 
So there's a lot of balancing here of classic modern artists, really interesting. And I think that the result is actually a very interesting and beautiful image. Now this also hits on a discussion I had in the comments on my channel where someone said AI art can't go beyond art because it can only do the things it has learned from. I would absolutely disagree with that because AI is able to create new variations and we are the people who see new things in these images. So apart from what AI can create, it can still inspire us and it can give us new combinations and new inspirations that we can then use to create things we have never seen before. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.